Yes, sir. In fact, I'm meant to go hunting with him and the Minister for Magic over the holidays. Oh, well, be sure to give them both my best. What about your uncle, Belby? For those of you who don't know, Marcus's uncle invented the Wolfsbane potion. Is he working on anything new? I don't know. He that don't get on. Because my dad's potions are rubbish. It's the only potion worth having. It's a stiff one at the end of the day. What about you, Miss Granger? What exactly does your family do in the muggle world? My parents are dentists. They attend to people's teeth. Fascinating. And is that considered a dangerous profession? No. Although, one boy, Robbie Fenwick, did bite my father once. He needed ten stitches. <laughs> Miss Weasley, come in, come in. Look at her eyes. They've been fighting again, her and Dean. Sorry, I'm not usually lit. No matter. We're just in time for dessert. That is, if Belby's left you any. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I was just admiring your hourglass. Ah, yes. That's an intriguing object. The sand runs in accordance with the quality of the conversation. If it is stimulating, the sand runs slowly. If it is not... Oh, I think I'll be going then. <laughs> Nonsense! You have nothing to fear, dear boy. As for some of your classmates, well, let's just say they're unlikely to make the shelf. The shelf, sir? Anyone who aspires to be anyone hopes to end up here. But then again, you already are someone, aren't you, Harry? Did Voldemort ever make the shelf, sir? You knew him, didn't you, sir? Tom Riddle? You were his teacher. Now, Mr Riddle had a number of teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. What was he like? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me. He killed my parents. Of course. It's only natural you should want to know more. But I'm afraid I must disappoint you, Harry. When I first met young Mr Riddle, he was a quiet, albeit brilliant boy, committed to becoming a first-rate wizard. Not unlike others I've known. Not unlike yourself, in fact. If the monster existed, it was buried deep within. 